Self-Portrait with Plastic Bag, or from the collection Self-Portrait with Plastic Bag by Mr. Rodrigo V. de la Peña Jr. We would like to call on stage Ms. Debbie Benedicte Ignacio Pias for the presentation. A warm round of applause. You did not ask to be born, but admit that you still wanted it. Life, the world opening to an explosion of light, your amniotic mouth saying yes, your hunger a beacon for your mother's breast, the milk itself a form of yes, each drop becoming part of your flesh, your hummingbird heart, quantum, each part of you a yes, Bones growing, fusing into a single yes, as lines form to make a poem, your skin conversing with someone's skin. Tongue, a voice repeating yes. How else will you admit this want, this life you never asked for? What other choice did you have but to say yes? Language's explosion of what might be said as you open your lips and begin a breath with one syllable. Yes. <laughs> Trilogy. Number one. Belia Flores is disgusted. By you, dear reader. Nothing personal, but that's how it is. The diva taking stock with one withering look and voila. A first and final judgment. You are not worthy. She can hear your heart trashing inside your chest, see past your earnest greetings, air kisses tossed around like trinket. Wait, Bella, Flora need, Bella Flores needs to take a call. She slams the rotary hole, the thwap a gilded pendant in the willy-nitty blather of the party. If she smiles, if at all, don't flatter yourself by thinking that she is pleased with your bouquet of affection. Beyond those lips lie the syntax of venom, the snake's reflex, to sink its fans on a warm-blooded creature. <laughs> Number two, Celia Rodriguez Turba. As headgear, of course, but also a stand-in for a menace we cannot see. As coiled fabric, as glamour. Necessary cover of and for a hidden subject. As object of the gaze, brazen and sequined. As device to date the period which is timeless. As etiquette for murder, as seed, ragged edge of hunger. As peep show, as start, dangling thread of subplot. As hinge turning from this world to the next. Number three, self-portrait as Banji Lavalan. My face looms on the screen, short hand for anger, the kind that uses an avalanche of words for kindling. With an acute sense of smell, my nose is a drowsing rod, pointing to the direction of conflict. I'd like to think it's all about me. My frown and filtrum make my absent clavicle, but the scene cuts to the meat of the story where I am only gristle. You will not see the fluttering of my chest or how intricate the pattern is on my floral duster. Will you find my name in the credits? I am hysteria. I am prickle. I am the brain of sand that irritates the oyster. The plastic bag is light and the properties of light. Its life began in a plant somewhere in China, a lattice of carbon and hydrogen. How far it has drifted or bear a burden not its own. It has the patience of stone and can weather a thousand years. Vessel of necessity since breath smells of the detergent powder it once carried. And now it is discarded. The plastic bag is free. No longer does it want to be stand in for Sisyphus. It dreams of flight as I do and you do. It asks feathers and clouds to whisper their secrets. 
When he hears the dusty fowl's prayer and grants it the grace to be lifted. It skims the ground lightly before fluttering among spiraling leaves, its transparent face floating over fireworks and buildings, birds and contrails, rising. 